Well, I'd like this to be something that anybody who's got Bryce can have a go at, but it's going to involve quite a lot of steps and stages and going into different parts of Bryce, so I'll go slowly as much as possible for the beginners. So this is the default launch state, and there's our standard Bryce sky. And the first thing I'm going to do is select the infinite plane on the ground and delete it. And then I'm going to go sky and fog and go custom sky. I'm going to set the horizon color to fully black and the sky color to fully black and this color to say an orange color. So that is the sun glow color. That's the light that appears around the sun. Hold alt key down and click on the clouds. We'll get rid of the clouds and then to see what we've got here I'm going to go into render options and select 360 degree panoramic projection so we'll be able to see the full horizon. So there's our sun with the sun glow, there's our horizon line which is just glowing because of the haze. I'm going to lower the haze intensity to 2. So just uh, left click and use that to reduce that value. There you go, it's a bit fiddly to select, so you can see it in the corner. So this is my starting setup. Now when you're rendering in 360 degree panoramic if you tilt the camera the horizon line looks like a sinusoid because this is in front of us and we've til I've tilted the camera back so I'm looking up in the sky and this is behind us so if you imagine you turned your head around and you tilted your head back then you'd be looking down at the ground that's the reason you get this effect which is interesting so at this stage I'm going to go into the sky lab and I don't need any diffuse output from the sun and I don't need any specular output from the sun shadow casting is irrelevant and this will just make things a little bit more efficient for rendering so if I check out of here now give this a quick render you can see it doesn't take very long to render now I'm going to introduce a new object so I go to the create shelf and I'm going to create a cube which has appeared somewhere below where the camera is so I'm going to edit this cube enlarge it and just fit it over the camera now if I go to my main view now and render rendered nothing because we're inside a cube it's dark so I'm going to modify the materials of this cube so into the material lab and I want a specific effect here so I'm going to make sure I'm going to have actual selection so I can see the cube that I'm working on and to begin with I'm going to put a blob in diffuse hold the shift key down click on the name here go to basic and select this one basic distance origin and modify this to suit my needs check out of there modify world space to object space and the scaling to around about 20%. Now as things stand it's not quite mapping onto the surface of this cube in the way I want. So I'll close this and click on this blob here to go into the deep texture editor. Click on this number one so I'm only dealing with the first component and then click on these four corner blobs so that I have control of the various little bits of the interface that I need access to. Click on the filter here and select None. Make sure I've got a bump output. Modify the colour mode using this little arrow to interpol to interference. So now I've got interference across these colours. It adds some extra colours in for me. And then click on Noise and this is Distance Origin Noise and I want it 3D. And that's all the modifications I need to make in here. So I can check out of here now and you can see the effect on here. Now since I had bump I need to put a blob in bump and increase the bump effect. I don't need diffusion, in fact I'll set the diffuse colour to fully white. Alt key down when you click on the colour swatch and I'll just turn it right up. And then set the transparency and the reflection. I only check it to fully white in case I want to modify the refraction later for various effects. So the reflection is going to be affected by the bump which is currently centered on all of the faces. If I use transparency here, the transparent color will be transferred also to the pattern that's on each of the faces and you can see it's creating a rather interesting effect already. But when it's when it's interacting with the sky, then the horizon line which is bright and the sun glow color will get drawn into this cube, colored by it and reflected by it. So if I check out of here now and give this a quick render, you can see it's created this interesting effect. Looks a lot more complicated than it really is. We have a degree of control over this through the material properties. So you could experiment with negative bump or higher levels of bump 
for example. So let's try that one and see what the results are like. So at this stage, we're using very high levels of bump. We have the camera looking at surfaces and bump is like uh, simulating the effect of geometry on that surface. So it could be looking on a surface, the angle of which means that the geometry, if it was real, would be facing away from the camera. And there is a correction for that. So if we go into the render options here and select reflection correction, then you will see that this should have quite a different effect when it's rendered. So there's a thing you can experiment with there to create different effects. So this looks quite complicated as it is. Bearing in mind we're only just using the sun glow color and the horizon glow line and a bit of reflection and bump to create this effect. So I like this opportunity to create complexity from very few controls. So we'll look at what options there are if you want to play. So in material, modifying the bump, that's an option. Modifying the refraction will have an effect. So you can see now it, it'll probably take a little longer to render, I don't know, but having the refraction will change the effect within the material. So you can see it appeared to get brighter there. And uh, remember, there's always the option of turning reflection correction off to see the alternate. So if, if it uh, varies radically. I think I preferred it with it on, though, in this case. So the other things we can do in the material, if we're not uh, using refraction, if you have a, a grey colour in the diffuse or black in diffuse, then when you put the refraction right up, it uh, tends to suppress the light levels in there. So that's uh, why I chose white, just to explain that choice there. Put that back at 100. In the Deep Taste Editor, you can experiment with putting filters in here. So we could put a sine wave filter in here, reset that, and then you can increase the frequency of the pattern by modifying the sine filter, and that will will add to the uh, complexity of the scene that's generated. You can see that's looking very busy now. Perhaps a little too busy for this subject, but uh, I'm just trying to show you how uh, you can you can experiment with this and, and get different effects rather than just sticking with the what was my opening gambit, so to speak. And of course any of these can be swapped out, these uh, types of function for different ones. I just like this one because it provides a nice symmetrical images and I think that's uh, you know contributes to the appeal of these if you have symmetrical images. If you're not wanting to modify the materials to create different effects you still have the options in the Skylab so you could change these colors here so you could make this I don't know a blue color and uh, bearing in mind that the color is tinted by the transparency color as well so repositioning the Sun around this scene will uh, will change where the sun glows color coming from and modify the color scheme in that respect as well. So a wide variety of ways in which you can create uh, an abstract image that's quite pleasing on the eye uh, just using a, a Bryce cube and a few material choices that don't really take that long to set up. So there you go. That's the end of the video. hope you found that interesting and that uh, that you'll experiment with this in your own Bryce scenes. Like I say, it's only of uh, limited use, but I, I could spend a long time just uh, trying different material effects out. So uh, I hope that you can too. Cheers now.